The Yellow Farmhouse Vineyard and Winery is probably the most unique winery on the trail. It's only open on weekends and it's cozy in size. But once you visit, you'll understand why it's a favorite destination and why it's a perfect place to grow the winery's signature deep purple Norton grapes. Just ask owner Dale Rawlings, whose business philosophy is rooted in the grounds he tends himself. We get our, uh, our, our, our greatest compliments, I think, from the fact that, number one, we're, we're making all of our wines here. Uh, we're not importing wines. We're not, uh, uh, we're not uh, having other people make our wine for us. And we take our time in taking our people through the process of making wine. We'll explain how it's done. We'll show you how it's done. We'll take you through the winery if you want to go through the winery. And um, uh, uh, we find that people like that. They're interested in that. Uh, we, they also seem to be very complimentary about the wines themselves. We take our pride on good quality, good Missouri wines. Unlike most wineries in the region, the Yellow Farmhouse closes during the winter months. Come spring, the doors open like a spring bouquet. In the spring, our opening weekend uh, after we've closed for the winter is the first weekend in April. And that's barrel tasting weekend where we literally uh, take samples out of the big oak barrels and let people sample the wine that's been in there from one to two to three years. And people seem to really enjoy that because they can sometimes taste the difference that aging makes. They can taste the difference that, uh, that oak makes on the wine. And as a result, uh, it, it's usually a fun weekend for people who come out. I think also it's, it's, it's even made more fun because it's the official end of winter around here. We're opening for the season and we do that one weekend a year to kind of herald spring. There is a certain charm that comes with the winery. A walk up the grass hill and you will find a place to put a blanket down for a picnic spread and a bottle of wine. From there you can look out at the breathtaking view of the Missouri River Valley in the distance. As you walk down the hill you will pass the Adirondack chairs nestled on the slope and casual seating with a series of umbrella tables in the wine garden all add up to the enchantment of Yellow Farmhouse. 